scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you.
peace and just declare your total surrender. Powerful song, very deep song. It takes an encounter to understand the depth of this song. Lord, we do not hold back anything. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're still going to sing this song one more time. And I want everyone to be in a mood of serious worship in this place tonight. Hallelujah. We're not just, this is not just for fun. Hallelujah. I didn't even rehearse with them to know what it is that I want to share this night. Hallelujah. So inside and outside, I want us to take a moment of deep worship. Can you take it higher? We're going to sing this song and that song I give myself away. I want you to flow and worship. I want us to lose ourselves in this place because there are many things that we need to let go tonight. Many things. Your troubles, your sorrows, thoughts of marriage, increased success. Just let it go tonight as we worship. Forget about every load you brought tonight. Lord, we surrender. for you. I didn't realize when I allowed my problems. I'm not denying the fact that the problems are much. Pray and say, Lord, I release it. Lord, we Hallelujah. 
Go ahead and pray. Say, Lord, I release everything. I release the pain. I release the disappointment. It didn't work out as I planned, but you are still God. It didn't work out the way I expected it. I thought the admission would have come, but you are still God. The marriage didn't come as at when I expected it. The business didn't work out, but you are still God. My ministry did not experience the increase, but you are still God. Come on, break open in his presence. Tell him, Lord, take this pain. Release your everything in his presence. Inside and outside, make sure you participate. The Bible says, laying aside every weight. There are all kinds of weights in this place tonight. Challenges in our families, your personal progress in life, your academics, your spiritual life. Come on, just pray it away. Pray it away. As you pray in tongues, let it go. There's no money in your pocket, but there is something at work in your spirit. There's no money in your bank account, but you are still more than a conqueror. Something bad happened to you, but his horn is still exalted in your life. Job said, though he slay me, yet will I praise him. He said, all the days of my appointed time, I will wait till my change comes. Till my change comes. The wife said, do you still hold your integrity? Why don't you curse God and die? And he said, why do you speak like these stupid women? Though he slay me, yet will I praise him. I choose to praise you. I choose to worship. It's a decision. There's no reason. I may not give any reason for it. But I choose to worship. We worship you. Let all the earth worship him. 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 His presence is mighty in this place. Just worship him. He's your maker. Many of you may not understand what is going on in this place. This is called Koinonia. It's an intimacy. The more I know you, the more I want to know you. The more I see your face, the more I want to see it again. The more I hear your voice, the more I want to hear it again. The more I hear your word, the more I want to hear it again. Jesus, more. Of you, Jesus, more of you. Come on, sing Jesus, more of you, Jesus, more of you, Jesus, 
estás por mí. Jesus. Express your love to your maker. We're almost losing the art of worshiping the body of Christ. We have done well with prayer. This is the secret, the protocol of His presence. Jesus, oh, of you. Jesus, oh, of you. Jesus, more of you. Jesus. Hallelujah. I love you forever. I love you forever. I love you forever. Lord. I love you forever. I love you forever. I love you, Lord. I love you forever. I love you forever. I love you forever. Sing, I'll serve you, Lord. I'll serve you forever. about my many struggles but by your spirit and your grace I'm confident you'll solve them but I'm here to say I love you I'm here to say I adore you that's why I'm here tonight. To say, I love to love you, Lord. From the bottom of my heart, I love you, Lord. Come on, sing it. It's from the bottom of my heart, I love you. Sing, I love you. From the bottom of my heart, sing, I praise you, Lord. I praise you, Lord. Sing, I praise you. Sing, I'll praise you. Lord, you reign forever. Lord, you reign. I worship you. I worship you. Sing, Lord, you reign. Worthy is 
Islam Worthy Islam He is holy Sheba na 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 A lot happens when we worship Him It's a sacrifice of praise Oh Lord, we feel your presence mighty in this place. And we give you all the praise. From everlasting to everlasting, you are God. There is none beside you. Mighty and majestic, the multi-breasted one. there like you oh lord you who created us come on worship koinonia in your likeness who is there i'm telling you i feel the presence of jesus in this place oh lord i know when his presence shows up it's an honor, Lord, to stand and worship. Come on, we lift our hands. We lift our hands to the great I am. Who was and who is and is to come. I lift my hands to the great. compare with you who can compare one more time I lift my hands I lift my hands to the great I am who was and who is and is to come I lift my hands to the great description you're too marvelous for words you're too wonderful for comprehension I'm worshiping him like nothing ever seen or heard the presence of Jesus is in this place who can grasp your infinite wisdom? Who can fathom the depths of your love? You are beautiful beyond description, majesty. And from on high. Come on, sing. I stand. I stand in awe of you. I stand. I stand in awe of you. Lord, I stand. I stand in awe of you. Only God. All oh, praise is due. I stand. Hallelujah. Make my life. Let it be the temple of your spirit. 
and let my spirit fill the world of your embrace. Let me be a holy habitation. Sing it from your heart where your spirit is pleased to dwell. Oh Lord, I want to know your love. I want to offer a sacrifice of prayer. worship you and we adore you tonight I know that you are walking in the midst of your people Jesus is in this place not the Holy Spirit not angels I know when his presence is in a building Jesus we thank you we pray make your presence known Father, make your presence known. Lord Jesus, make your presence known in our hearts. This is what I pray tonight. I pray, make your presence known. Make your presence known. Make your presence known in our hearts. We thank you for your presence. You have come to reveal yourself to us. And we embrace that presence. Walk among us tonight. Walk among us tonight. Plant a fire in our hearts. We choose to honor you with our lives, with our hearts, and everything that we have. We're not in a hurry. Lord, we bless you for your mighty, mighty presence. I'm telling you the presence of Jesus is in this place. I know he's in this place. The spirit and the bride say come the spirit and the bride say come let your will be done tonight let us see your face to see your face once again to hear your voice 
once again to see your face once again once again in the glory I will stand I will stand and lift my hands in the glory I will receive every miracle you have In the glory, we will stand, we will stand and lift our hands. In the glory, we will receive every miracle. We accept the heal of the Lord. Forget about your weakness of your body. It's the protocol for an encounter. It's the protocol for an encounter. By tapping into the laws of the spirit that will open us into the vistas of his presence. Zatakata prega de banana bash. Seka baba de la nana bala y esa banana da bas. Sete caria tama la da bas y prega de banana da 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 da. Seka da 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 da. Sudo da 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 da. Suko prato koto prata kata baka kaba. Rakata prate kata baka basi kada. Edify yourself in the spirit. Mata press kaban de brea. Activate your organs of interaction with the realm of the spirit. Zeta kata brake te na bada bada basi kada bada bada bash. Shike te brake kada bada 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 te brake te bada bada bash. Mata prate kata bada bada bash. Is the law of the secret place. Is the law of the secret place. 
When you seek him, you will find him. Outside, participate. The Spirit of God is mighty outside. Charge your spirit man. Activate your capacity to comprehend spiritual things. Let him arise above your needs, above your accolades. of your presence. Expose yourself to that atmosphere, that Shekinah, the glory that changes, the glory that transforms, in the glory where seed time and harvest coexist together. Serving the living God, His name is Jesus Christ. He died and rose and gave me victory. Sing, we're just going to press a little further. We are serving. We're not serving an idol. Is there? Is Jesus? Miracles are already taking place as we're worshiping. He died and he rose. Be the name of the Lord. Father, tonight we desire an encounter. Open us up to portals, realms, vistas in the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Open us up to these deep dimensions. Pass me not, O oh gentle Savior. Hear my humble cry. While on others thou art calling, do not pass me by. Sing it, Savior, Savior, Savior. Care what they are, sing and sing. All of the ground is sing and sing. On Christ, the 
the solid rock all of us Father, tonight, reveal yourself to us. Show us something about you that we have never seen. Put a fire in our spirit. Let there be a displacing of everything that has taken your place in our hearts. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Just sit as quiet as you can. No distraction. Let's keep this atmosphere as solemn as it is. Jesus is in this place. I want to share with you a few things tonight that I believe will change our lives remarkably. Tonight is a night of encounter. I'm not here to preach tonight. Tonight is a night of encounter. There must come a point in your life where you will encounter God not just to be taught about Him. Just sit as quiet as you can and let's let the Holy Spirit pick us in this atmosphere. There is a flight in the Spirit. Psalm 63. I want to share with you a very powerful mystery. Tonight is a night of encounter. The Lord told me this. Tonight is a night of encounter. Many of you tonight will be caught up into heavenly experiences I told you tonight is an encounter many of you will see things you have never seen before many of you will hear sounds that you have not heard before help us tonight Psalm 63 Psalm 63 Psalm 63 hmm. O God Thou art my God Early will I seek Thee My soul thirsted for Thee My flesh longed for Thee In a dry and thirsty land Where there is no water Verse 2, to see thy power and thy glory, so as I have seen thee in the sanctuary, because thy loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise you. Hallelujah. I want to talk to you tonight from the depths of my heart. I'm not really preaching tonight. I want everybody to listen. Hallelujah. Lord God Almighty. You know that song? Holy. Holy. Lord God Almighty. There's only one word to There's only one word to describe And only one word comes to When you truly stand before His presence Only one word to this cry mm -hmm. holy the 
That's the word. Holy Lord, Lord God Almighty. Holy, Holy Lord. Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. Let me tell you a little story about my life. I have been very, very concerned about the way people are being built in the body of Christ. And every time I say this, people misinterpret it for pride or arrogance. But the way God trained me is not the way many people have been trained in the body of Christ and I know that something is wrong hallelujah there is a lot of jumping of processes in the progressions of the spirit there is a lot of seeming principles of shortcuts to access authentic power and the presence of God to an extent that there are many people who claim that they are having spiritual encounters but there's nothing about their life so many people lie to us that they see angels and there is nothing there is no reaction in their lives many people tell us they see beings in the spirit let me tell you something if you see anything that is outside this realm something must happen to you hallelujah I want to share with you something very powerful i want to share with you how i began my journey in the spirit and how the holy ghost led me and you will see the reason why many people may never find god in terms of encounter there are many preachers lying to people many preachers deceiving people just because of, they are not fake they are just not telling the truth hallelujah it doesn't take an encounter to speak English. Utterance is not the same as oratory. You can get oratory by good education. You know what utterance is? Utterance is the bridge between your encounter and the people you want to communicate it to. The encounter is so deep, you do not have the frame, the framework of the lingua franca to help them see the other side of what you are saying and so paul prayed and said I've, I've, there is something in my spirit but how to make you see it pray for me that god will grant me an ability that is not human an ability to make you enter my experience as i speak to you this is what is called utterance there is a lot of powerlessness in the body of christ and now I know I'm not old enough and experienced enough to challenge many things yet. Let me tell you something. I do not boast of knowing all the principles of church growth, principles of prosperity, principles of increase, principles of training and mentorship and building people. But there is one thing I know. I know the protocol of an encounter. This one, a man did not teach me. Paul said, I know a man 14 years ago in Arabia. Whether he was in the body or in the spirit, I do not know. But he said that he saw things that were not permitted for men to utter. There were things that John saw and he said, seal this. Don't bring this. The people do not have the capacity to take this depth of encounter. Seal it. It's for an appointed time. There is a lot a lot of theory and and these theories are not wrong but let me tell you when a man meets god when you hear him there is an anointing that brings you into his experience hallelujah that's what happened prophet samuel was a man who had encountered god saul came into that atmosphere when he entered an anointing compelled him into the prophetic all of a sudden he began to prophesy accurately the bible says he prophesied naked from morning till night 
and men looked and said it's Saul or oh, it wasn't because Saul was anointed there was an atmosphere that pulled him into that experience the presence of this man called Samuel hallelujah one time they came to capture the armies I mean they came to capture the prophet of God Elijah and when they came the Philistines I believe they, 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 they gathered around and he prayed and the servant was perplexed because see he was sitting in another realm his confidence was not of this realm and the servant was shaky and he said oh Lord would you not bring this man into my experience let him see what gives me this audacity let him see what informs my confidence all of a sudden his eyes were open and he saw that them were greater than what they are see you will never understand a man's passion until you know what drives him until you see what he has seen until you hear what he has heard and the bible says moses was at the back side tending his father-in-law's sheep and he saw a bush the bible didn't say many people saw only one man moses and when he went there he had an encounter hallelujah there are so many people looking for power and and that's not wrong there are so many people looking for power they want the power to heal the sick they want the power to do this and that and that because according to their church growth seminar they were told that if you have power and you have results men will come to your church or to your assembly whatever it is let me tell you the truth I'm about to correct some things and set a right very very wrong when I began my pursuit for God listen to me I had no ambition to be a preacher whatsoever hallelujah if anybody would have told me that today I'll be standing taking the message of the kingdom I would never believe it hallelujah there are people already who sit down it's part of their ambition they think it's a profession they are so desperate to start ministry they are so desperate to gather members they've not done anything they have the name of the ministry already they have the name of where the church will be i'm not saying what god gave them they sat down and pushed they have the name of everything their cathedral the kind of bosses that will come nonsense and they do not know the person that they are going to represent can i tell you something almost everybody god called was on his way running away from god's presence if you really know what ministry is hallelujah this is the reason why many people do not experience the presence of god and every time they find a man who has followed the protocol of an encounter they begin to bring all sorts of criticisms because certain possibilities do not exist in their life and they do not know that there is a price it's more than bible college it's more than theological seminary it's more than longevity around a church building hallelujah are you hearing what i'm saying i began to seek god with so much passion listen i remember i will never forget second of december 2002 i was sleeping in the night and a man walked into my room sleeping and all of a sudden i felt it not in a vision i was not in any vision i was i, I was i was conscious of myself and he tapped me I felt the tap of a man and I was alone I was shocked I was afraid all of a sudden I turned I didn't see any man but it left an experience it was as if it was like a force at once I knew things I did not learn I started crying until morning I felt I felt filthy I felt unclean practically unclean it wasn't because i was fornicating or doing any bad thing a presence a realm was introduced to my life that rattled my theology 
rattled everything that I had known. For days, I was crying. I could not even eat. Let me tell you the truth. I was sobbing and crying. I was not in control of the tears. I didn't understand the presence of God. Do you know? Because of that, the passion that was in my spirit. I got a notebook. I still have the notebook. I wrote a letter to all my friends, my extended family in the village. That was all I knew. It was a letter on rapture that Jesus was coming and everyone needed to pay attention. That was all that I knew. There was such a passion for souls, not ministry, not power, not healing, not deliverance, not prosperity, not money, not influence. Souls, the heartbeat of the Father. God hides himself in light. He will give you a glimpse and hide himself so that you will look for him. Hallelujah. I, I always waited for the night time where everybody would go and sleep. And then I would wake up. And these encounters, I kept writing letters. I carried a bulk of my clothes. I told my mother to give me a bulk of her clothes and a number of people. I called my brother who was then studying in Shika, came home and we prayed on the clothes. I drove down to an orphanage home. I went to visit those orphans and do a lot of things. I wasn't in ministry. The Bible says the spirit moved Jesus, drove him. I didn't even know what the name of that experience was. All I knew was that it was an encounter no one could deny. Hallelujah. People would come around me and just sit quietly and within minutes they are sober and they are telling me the problems of their lives i wasn't a preacher i would study the word chapter after chapter i couldn't understand anything at that time i was having very serious eye problem i couldn't even look at light for a long time and i said if my eyes will come out let it come out passion i would cry and tell the lord reveal yourself to me who is this stranger that walked into my room didn't show me his face didn't know anything about the holy spirit hallelujah years before that time we had had encounter the baptism of the holy spirit and as very very small boys we did wonderful things we were not even conscious that the things that were happening were miracles. It was dramatic. JS2, JS2, I was made the timekeeper of the whole school because there was something exceptional about my life. JS2, every day, pastor, quarter to five, somebody wakes me. Quarter to five, without failing, somebody will wake me. I rang the bell five o'clock on the dot. I want you to know that this the quality of christians that men of god are marketing and advertising will not stand the test of time they lack the impetus to endure hallelujah and after that encounter i began to pursue god i i had no business with ministry in fact let me tell you something pastor the first crusade that we had there was no name of ministry we had to come together and Jimmy told me what would be the name of this ministry now I said I don't know God didn't give me any name let's find something I can't even remember the name we use Trinity something one kind of name like that just to be able to explain to PFN we are coming for a crusade and now I see a lot of people all around moving with bodyguards and moving with people claiming that they are doing ministry And they mentored the life of very wrong men of God who are out of the program of God. Don't use cars and suits and English and crowd to gauge that a man is close to the presence of God. You will be greatly deceived. 
motivational speakers pack stadiums are they anointed but they pack stadiums with people paying thousands of dollars to hear them speak it doesn't take too much to gather people hallelujah is someone hearing me tonight and i began this encounter let me tell you something i would pray for days i wasn't looking for ministry show me your face show me your glory oh god that's all i want a time came it was it was a matter of life and death i remember i would go to life way life way and then i had i had do you know i will be in the restaurant in community market immediately i finish eating there's one anywhere i hear them playing a tape there were christian bookstores around i'll just go and sit down there i knew almost all of them i was hungry i spent my money on books books on purpose i'll never forget writing an article about myself if i were dead that's what i wrote that was the article i wrote how people may come for my funeral come for this and that and that i did crazy things hallelujah at the back of Ixaramat, you know that bush there they started developing it now it was at the back of Ixaramat. that's where i would go and shout like a madman in the night saying lord will you reveal yourself or kill me don't criticize a man till you know the passion and the story behind the glory god never gave me any assurance that i'll be standing and listening to people but he gave me one assurance he said early will i seek you i will show you some scriptures tonight hallelujah i'll never forget dramatic encounters i was staying in Danfodio, and i remember what used to happen people will come to my room when they come to it was myself steve strings and andy ambassador who were roommates room 155 old block people used to come in the morning in the morning i was a strange person i could be lying down and the next thing the moment i see an angel steve strings or somebody the moment he may just be playing the guitar and something happened the power of god is breaking out people outside the room are falling under the anointing it was a strange life i would climb on top of vet medicine there was one empty place at the very top in the night when people are sleeping i would sit there i had a chair and i would sit there and cry in the night and say will you not reveal yourself to me oh god holy spirit i wait on you holy spirit i wait on you hallelujah when i was staying in area bz i used to seek the lord i was staying alone well with a roommate but mostly alone and this is where the encounters of my life took another dimension i was broke sometimes i would not have money but there was a guava tree in front of the house i would go and plug the guava there and eat it and take water and say lord i give you praise and i would lock up myself praying and then at a point listen to me certain things started happening in my life i would be praying I didn't even know it was called the cloud of his presence i stand before god and i tell you the truth i lie not a literal mist you know how vapor is that's how it will enter the room and i was being careful so that i wouldn't dabble into any demonic thing i had to search the scripture and i saw when the cloud of god's glory entered the temple and the priest could not even minister again it's in your bible hallelujah i'll never forget praying for somebody who had chicken pox god is my witness it was in less than three hours or so the person came back and almost 90 percent of what he had had disappeared 
and there was nobody to clap for me i didn't even know it was a spectacular miracle you know the problem with a lot of people there are too many people to clap for you when you have not done anything so it makes us believe we gather around a lot of people who are not passionate about god i was seeking the face of god with all my heart then there used to be lots of fellowships on campus to do a lot of things i would just go behind sunday school building and sit down there and i used the worship that was being played by several campus fellowships for my spiritual look let me tell you something this is the reason why you may talk about somebody and god will judge you at once because he has a track record of sacrifice there is there is it's like blood on the altar that speaks hallelujah when reinhard bonke was coming for crusade i remember that time i went i've shared with you the story six hours i was standing no seat a pregnant woman was standing close to me small time the woman will lean on me i said madam i understand you are pregnant but this 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 whole thing i'm we're all tired here but i was determined my life is a testimony of dramatic encounters i started having all of these encounters and i'll never forget listen one night the longing of my soul was satisfied when jesus christ appeared to me i have seen him it's not because i read it in scripture this is why i can tell you with authority that many people who claim they have seen jesus did not see jesus there is nothing that left there was no deposit in their life if you see jesus even if it's for one minute something will enter your life that you will run with for a lifetime this is the jesus i saw when saul on his way to damascus met this jesus what happened to him a hardened criminal at once he broke down he called him lord saul was fasting for three days and three nights he was blind the presence of god made a man blind physically and there are people who claim they see jesus every day fornicating around seeing jesus stealing around seeing jesus doing all kinds of things they say they are seeing jesus that's not the jesus i saw that's not the jesus i saw for when you see him when zechariah saw just an angel an angel he made zechariah dumb an angel hallelujah when i saw jesus i was flat on the ground goodness i'm telling you i looked like a speck of dust in this majestic i could not believe that this was the man preachers were trying to represent when you meet jesus it will change your life it will overhaul your priority about ministry it will no longer be an issue of denomination or an issue of sect an issue of i was this i was that when you meet jesus it will rattle your your whole theology to its foundation i felt as if i was a dead man i could not even see his face let me tell you the truth it was the brightness the i i i don't know how to begin to explain it to you and he stood there his robe was white it was not like physical clothes that you can see like this it was like clothes but it was like the clothes was attached to the person's body so it's not like something you remove and put back it's not our concept of clothes no hallelujah and light brothers and sisters light was emanating from him the christ and all he did to me was to stretch his hands towards me and he stretched that giant hand imagine like stretching an, an aircraft over a fly that was how it was and light light that i cannot explain that light came upon me i don't know how god did it that he did not kill me 
when I got up from that vision there was a fire in my bones that I will live and die for I've been captured by a love I can't explain now you have me and I'm forever changed I've abandoned everything I've ever known and I surrender this life is not my own I belong to you I belong to you I belong to you I belong to you nobody coerced me I surrendered my heart this one is different from coming to do this funny born again thing that people do in church people just march and come out lord jesus lord jesus and he's pinching his neighbor i surrender all i surrender all immediately he finishes the the boyfriend or whoever is waiting for the person and then they ask him are you born again and the brother or the sister they mean to say have you ever come out they say yes now i've even been baptized come on now let me tell you there are many people who think they are saved and god does not know them i know some of you will be angry for this statement i'm making christianity with no transformation impossible except it's not the, the christ that died for our sins hallelujah this was the vision that opened me up into ministry i had been seeing a lot of encounters listen somebody was pursuing me and i went and i stood somewhere in a room all of a sudden i was moved to look through the window when i looked through that window I saw an endless sea of people it was it was as far as my eyes could see and they were talking they were lamenting it was a crowd of people hallelujah after seasons of trainings and buildings and their sound started zooming to my ears and then eventually it looked like they zoomed those who were in front and i had them it was a it was a sound of languishing and pain it was not a sound of celebration the people were crying and languishing in pain and this was what they said they looked at me and they said there's no food and no water all of a sudden in the vision it became like i had the keys to the storehouse of that entire crowd of people I was holding the keys and i told them i asked them i said who is the cause why you do not have food and water and they said you are the one and i said oh my god i was moved with compassion i started crying and i told them i'm coming right away to help you but there were people who had chased me and i was afraid of them but i took the step to open the door when i opened the door there was a gigantic man waiting for me and he was in the similitude of the holy spirit he now held my hands and he said let's walk together i will walk with you in this journey are you getting the point then he began to walk with me we were to jump from building to building just like structures like you have the students hostel at the top from one end to the other and he jumped to the other side and he sat down there was a small ladder that connected the buildings and i was trying to walk slowly and he was looking at me and laughing and that was how i woke up all of a sudden my life changed i would be in a meeting and would hold hands together just to share the grace quietly seated here and people in rows who fall under the anointing and i could not understand i would stay in the secret place praying and building people would come to look for me the way they would know i'm around is that a great distance before they arrive people would not be able to cross that circumference what is your experience like you who has already called yourself pastor what is your experience what message do you have to give your generation that's why we do a lot of copying and pasting 
a lot of copy and, and all kinds of things we preach messages without power without transformation because they do not come from a depth of truth you're beautiful you're beautiful every time you see me worship him every time you see me do the things that i do let me tell you something whenever there is any seed of pride in me it doesn't take a long time for god to copy it. there are too many encounters in my life all it takes is for god to refresh any of them any of them breaks me down many of you do not have encounters that's why a man of god will keep moving he's falling but he cannot see there's no encounter to remind him of where he was coming from and you can begin to sleep around with members of the church enjoy prosperity when jeeps start coming and cars start coming whether you pray or not you preach well let me tell you the truth the army that god is raising is an army that understand the one they are representing they know him they've had an encounter with him that's the only condition to be able to die for him it's impossible to die for a man you do not know it's impossible to die for a man you cannot you cannot relate with angels bow before him is beautiful there have been so many encounters in my life one time i was in a vision and there was it was outside all the doors were closed all the shops were closed it was like a community and i saw people sitting down sick people all around and i was looking at them and i said where are the doctors where is the hospital these people are dying what is all this i was shouting speaking to the air the people were so weak and helpless they could not even talk to me and then i had a voice that spoke to me from heaven he said go and heal them go and deliver them hallelujah one time when i was praying i was worshiping for a season i began to sense an unusual activity of the presence of god in my life i would worship and pray and build myself listen i want to give you a very big key to my life and that night it was a very deep encounter with god hallelujah and while i was in that place of encounter listen the lord spoke to me and he said from today i give you my presence as a gift this is what god told me hallelujah from that day god opened my eyes and i saw a huge angel i had never seen him and i said lord what is the name of this angel and the lord told me his name is called the angel of the lord's presence he said this is the angel that will walk with you the angel of the lord's presence hallelujah this is the reason behind some of these mighty manifestations that you see that a lot of people do not understand i have suffered for this anointing i've been criticized for this anointing people have called me all kinds of names my mother is alive she came here you have seen her my father is alive i grew up in the midst of people i didn't come out from a wilderness my life has been an open book from birth to death the bible says oh lord my god early will i seek you my soul thirsts for you it says to see your power and your glory this is the passion that is the missing ingredient every time i go for meetings after the meetings you see lots of people coming to kneel down oh man of god lay hands because we have emphasized impartations above encounters so people believe you can take a man's spiritual journey with one laying on of hands Do you know that all the people that the apostles laid hands on 
and the patriarchs of old they had they they went through the wilderness together they saw certain things together the laying on of hands did not rob them of true spiritual experience hallelujah i remember my first encounter with a demon real physical demon listen let me share with you i'm sharing with you i'll put a few scriptures and we'll pray because tonight tonight god is going to give some people real encounters hallelujah it was in chapel one night i finished praying listen true story god is my witness none of these things i'm telling you are stage managed and the generator then they just made that generator there and i was just going to turn to the edge of it listen i saw a real physical demon i saw it with my eyes and he just shouted and told me get back that's what he told me before he finished saying get back i was already praying in tongues it was not premeditated and it just went vanished like that from that time authority came upon my life to cast out every kind of demon and devil anywhere brothers and sisters the ancient knew the value of encounters this is what we do not know especially preachers in our generation everybody just believes i have an occupation okay you studied mass communication or french and you don't know what else to do with your life you just say i sense the, the call of god upon my life now after nyse what will i do say, oh, yeah, try ministry now i say talk you were a very good bible study teacher you say truly i was they even gave me price you just go and dapple into the vineyard believing that you are going to be effective you think so go and ask the devil how herbalists are trained go and ask the devil how false prophets are trained go and ask the devil how witches and wizards are trained you think it's an ambition it's a fraternity it's a sacrifice with their life they sell their soul to satan those ones have collected the mark of the beast already hallelujah that's why you can stand and tell the sick be healed and nothing happens there is no experience demons are not idiots they have followed the track record listen something happened there was somebody when we started koinonia he was coming he was in the occult i'm sure one i can't remember his name now one young guy he was in the occult they used to come and sit when people started sitting outside quietly they had seen me this gentleman was sent it's just that we don't we don't share one tenth of the testimonies that happened it will amaze you do you know what this guy told me i went on a retreat i remember one time i went on a retreat the lord asked me to go on a retreat 72 hours my eyes did not see light whether it was day or night I didn't even know what time it was at all whether it was three o'clock i kept everything 72 hours dry i'm not talking about this kind of fast that you take granite in the afternoon later in the evening you are you can't even wait quarter to six you're already peeling the orange the the type your heart panting after god not looking for power hallelujah Do you know after i prayed and i finished that experience the day they brought the gentleman to me and i was about to pray this is not an issue of being oppressed that you are casting out the devil this is somebody that is in occult aware he knows you know what he told me he said sir we have been watching you and he said while you were praying he mentioned the place he said for 72 hours in the realm of the spirit their eyes were open and they were watching hallelujah and he was telling me how that they strike a lot of men of god it's like a spiritual meter that's why a man can be backsliding and nothing is happening it's the deceit of the devil to make you feel things are moving all right your prayer life has died nothing wrong is happening you are not even studying nothing else is it's like a meter it will keep going down 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 you will not observe it it will just keep going down one day the devil will hit you once 
this is the reason why you see a great man people don't just fall like that brothers and sisters are you getting what i'm saying samson slept with a harlot true or false without prayer he went and removed the gate of the city that god is showing you mercy over your life does not mean he's endorsing your state he's challenging you to rise higher this is the message you will not find in church everybody tells people things are all right jesus has died wonderful you are now born again do everything just book in the name of jesus give him all the praise shout do everything you want to do and there's all kinds of madness and hell is raging war believers are not sensitive hallelujah one of the greatest assets i have in my life is not revelation it's not understanding it's my love for god and it's like a cancer and i trust god to infect you with it tonight a love for god that nothing can take not power not anointing not influence people call me all kinds of names i don't care what you call me apostle daddy mommy uncle call whatever you want to call me that's that's your i thank god for the honor but there is something that i've seen that nothing in time can take it away hallelujah let me show you two scriptures i saw this scripture in 2005 and it changed my life forever john 14 21 zila kaprash timbre azakata balashina mahosi barai mighty god john 14 21 let's read one to read please can we have it from amplified do you have amplified let's have it from amplified the person who has my commands and keeps them is the one who really loves me and what's his reward for loving me it says and whoever really loves me will be loved by my father are you seeing it now i want to show you the protocol of our encounter and I too will love him and will show, reveal, manifest myself to him. I will let myself be clearly seen by him and make myself real to him. Is that in your Bible? There is a protocol. God does not just reveal himself to people because they are crying or because they are praying. Many people want to encounter God everybody cry even in churches we hold all kinds of three days one week revival you see the poster revival exclamation mark revival two exclamation mark and then another revival three exclamation mark revival 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 and you see the people who are coming for the revival strolling around and coming to sit and the man of god who is now supposed to bring the revival who needs revival himself will now come with his his, his prepared manual and talk all kinds of stories and people just nod they say mm, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and they now say it's time to pray and everybody just finds a little corner and is just sleeping and snoring at the end of the program they say they've held this year's revival you know what a revival is a revival is an awakening that keeps a city and the community stands still we don't read a lot of history we don't read a lot of where we are coming from the world's revival was so powerful that men will carry the newspaper as soon as they start reading the newspaper revival will start in their house what is our concept of revival the average young person in this generation cannot define what a revival is we have not seen it What is our concept of Christianity? What do we really want to achieve? Ask the average believer, why do you go to church? It tells you to go and worship. What is that? It's just because we grew up knowing that you are a Christian and it's good for you to go to church. It's 
second corinthians or first corinthians lord we bless you the lord is redefining someone's christianity tonight removing the things that are unnecessary verse 9 first corinthians 2 verse 9 but as it is written i have not seen nor ear heard neither has it entered into the heart of man the things which god has prepared for who them that love him not them that pray to him not them that want to serve him them that love god let me tell you this is the missing ingredient in the body of christ it's not rema we have enough revelation there are powerful men and women of god i attest to it in nigeria in africa in the world there are people who have explored the portals of revelation back to back what we lack is love and when i say love i don't just mean love by giving i mean passion and priority god has very little priority in our generation let me tell you the truth very little priority very little there are few parents the average parent in nigeria they believe in god but god is not a priority hallelujah ask the average young man what his pursuit is either to go to school or to go and serve or to get a wife or to get some kinds of things imagine imagine this is the whole circumference of our christian pursuit ask a man of god what are you seeking he tells you by the grace of god we should grow to ten thousand and fifteen thousand and then have our own auditorium have our own buses start making our own calendar then go on air is this our circumference of the pursuit of god I love him with my life he's my priority i'm obsessed about him and that has nothing to do with ministry it's my default state when i sing he knows i'm not pretending it i love him more than miracles let him take all the anointing from my life let him take the mean if god asks me pastor and tells me close koinonia close up here and i pack up everything i promise you to god who has created me this would be the last service that's the end of it everybody will feel bad everybody will complain and say why some serious people even say let's let's resurrect it you can go ahead and face god alone but i'll be so happy and i'll tell him lord what next if god tells me go and join a church or a ministry and be an usher i will do that gladly from the depths of my heart I, not minding anybody's recognition i don't want no recognition from anybody when you see god commit spiritual power to a man ask questions ask questions god is not stupid that's why a lot of people come oh god give me power i want to speak somebody sent me a text he said i cannot imagine how you speak and people fall i want it to i said go and ask god the guy felt disappointed go and ask god i'm not a herbalist i don't manufacture miracles in little dots of 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 oil and, and communion and all of that no we want to jump the process of genuine encounter and intimacy yet we want power that's why i question a lot of what we call power in the body of christ a man who has so much power without encounter is questionable but right now everybody is chasing power power prophetic power apostolic power miraculous power people keep hopping around i've given warning nobody should come and stand in front of my house waiting for any impartation i'm not a herbalist you can come for counseling you can come for koinania god will bless you listen i believe in the laying on of hands we lay hands and we do impartation for all the people but we must lead you into a of desperation and encounter with the spirit say amen
two more scriptures let me tell you how you know that God is not a priority if you attempt to live without him it's a sign that you do not need him in your life whatever you can live without is not a priority to you are you getting my point whatever you can live without is not a priority Air is a priority, you cannot live without it. Food is a priority, you cannot live without it. If you can live without God, don't tell me he's a priority to you. There are many of us outside, inside, you are looking at me right now. You know between you and God that God is not a priority in your life. You may even be in ministry. You may be doing very well. But is God a I'm not asking you whether you are born again or not. I know you are born again. I'm talking of a priority. That if you are to delete many things in your life, God will still remain. Hallelujah. There is a law in the spirit. Jeremiah 29. <sighs> Thank you, Holy Spirit. 11 to 13. We'll read it quickly. Because I want us to pray. The Lord wants to plant a fire in our hearts tonight and reorder our spiritual pursuit aright. That beyond revelation, we will love Him. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you. We know this scripture so well. Thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. Next verse. Then shall ye call upon me and ye shall go and pray unto me and I will hearken unto you here's the condition verse 13 this is a law in the spirit never forget it for as long as you live read it everybody want to read and find me when ye search for me with all your heart this is the law for finding god in the spirit you will never never have an encounter with god until your all seeks him if you just seek him with part of you if you seek him with an ulterior motive you will, if you seek him because of business or marriage or money like many of us are seeking god god will give you the car god will give you the marriage god will give you all of these things we seek different things that god has we seek his hands we seek all kinds of things here is the law write it if anybody ever asks you what is the protocol for an encounter this is it you will seek me look at me let me tell you what it means to seek god to seek god is not to pray this is what a lot of people have been taught as seeking god prayer is not necessarily seeking god to seek god is not even worship because that's what many of us still believe to seek God is not to fast. To seek God is to cultivate a desire that seeks to make Him the priority of your life at any cost. That has nothing to do with prayer. It is when that happens, prayer can be a machinery to help you get there. Fasting can be a machinery to help you get there. Worship can be a machinery to get to help you get there but in themselves they cannot give you i know someone and he's i think he's one of the greatest person i've met in my life people talk about kings of fasting and people who fast i know somebody who fasted he rounded up last year 400 days 400 days very quiet brother nobody even knows him around 400 days i had the privilege of rounding up his fast with him and i prayed for him and laid my hands when he finished the 400 days six to six for 400 days in my life even in history i'm not saying you should do it i'm just telling you that there are people like that yet you will still see that there are certain dimensions that he has not entered so it's not just about fasting people brag with fasting they they intimidate others with fasting 
they make it look how many days have you fasted one will say three try your word say try another person said all kinds of things if fasting alone brought people into the place of power some people would have brought the throne of God to the earth and be sitting on it by now let me tell you fasting will not in its own just make God reveal himself to you the psalmist said as the deer pants after the water pools Bishop Oedeko said something he said if you want to know the secret of the hand of God in my life you must know my heartbeat for God I know a lot of preachers who do not have the heartbeat for God I go for meetings and I talk with preachers after a powerful service they look at me and they admire deeply the things that God has done in my life and when they come and sit down 90% of them don't ask questions they are just looking for an envelope and they put offering and sign checks where is my PA bring check and you you sign it you you really think it will give you an encounter I believe in giving and all of that we've taught this there and they just drop it and they say pray for me when you meet a man of the spirit ask questions don't just kneel down and say lay hands on me what was the secret of this glory I know lots of preachers that teach well but three days after they are teaching people have forgotten everything they have said but I know certain people Reinhard Bonke is one of them you meet him once your life will never be the same I remember when he came for a crusade I think in Makodi Dr. Paul Enenche said something he said after the crusade they should book the room and leave it 24 hours the room that Paul Enenche slept in hallelujah and when Paul uh, when 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 um uh, what's his name now the evangelist Reinhard Bonke when he left and then she said they should they shouldn't repair it he said all the people they should not come and make it they should leave it as dirty as it is and he came there and laid down on that exact spot and said lord just give me the hunger that you gave this man i'm not asking for power just give me his hunger that's how to pray that's how to receive that's how to encounter power you are looking for the wrong things the hand of a man the wallet of a man all kinds of things look for the heart for God that that man has and you've gotten the secret of his anointing this one you cannot receive it as an impartation you must desire and covet and pursue the Bible says there are many things that God has in store hallelujah something happened I think a week or, or two or, I think a week ago I was sharing with the students school of ministry hallelujah I wanted to listen to a message and I searched for it search for it on on YouTube I couldn't find it and I said Lord would you help me and I slept it didn't take long when I slept I was in a dream and I went back to my laptop I listened to me true story and someone came and found the message for me and they played the message for me in the dream beginning to end so I woke up listen I'd listened to the message and I remembered everything there are some things you see God do for a man and you'll be like God you are not fair God says it's not that I'm not fair this guy has attracted me with so much passion it's, it's a love affair that's why many people stop at the outer court they cannot eat the hallowed bread but there are some people what somebody is fasting for for 10 days God will carry it as a gift and give a man who truly loves him there are sisters cat walking all around hoping that one brother will get to see them whereas another gentle sister is just saying Lord come let me use you Lord I love you and I seek you with all my heart and in that seeking God will just wake a brother who is sleeping in the night and he will just wake up shut out at God will say keep quiet this is not what we are talking about you see that lady she's your wife say Lord please this is not the time God will say have you submitted to me or not say fire on. let me tell you 
the cheapest route to the hand of God is force his heart to come to your direction hallelujah that's the greatest church growth principle I know you can give people balloon and exercise book after service you can give them eclairs you can put all kinds of things put screens all around transport them to their houses if your heart does not pant after God let me tell you there are certain dimensions it's not demons God himself will stop you from entering hallelujah you will seek me and you will find me I listened to a very powerful um, 26 minutes video about passion and hunger for God and one 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 Asian was talking to the people it inspired me and blessed me so much and he gave an analogy he said if you if you lose a I think is it a 10 or 50 cents if it falls in the night a coin maybe 10 or 50 cents and it falls in the night will you look for it if you check it around and you don't find it a coin that is so cheap pastor will you spend all the night looking for it but if you have a check of hundred thousand dollars that they gave you not you and your friend and it disappears even if it's the realm of the spirit you will use light and bring it back into this realm so tell me is god a cheap coin for you that you search if you don't find him no problem any other thing matter some of us can begin to seek god until a man comes into your life or until a woman comes or until you make five points or until you get that job you hear people say i'm busy i'm busy you are not busy when your leg breaks and they hang it for three months in shika no going anywhere you sit down there you are not too busy but the one who can protect and preserve you it's amazing how people claim they are too busy for god say i'm too busy i have an appointment go is it not when god takes you there safely I don't mind waiting I don't mind waiting I don't mind waiting on you Lord I don't mind waiting I don't mind waiting I don't mind waiting This was the secret of David. Look at a man called David. See all the bad, bad things that David did. And it was as if God didn't see it. Go and study the life of David. And see how many criminal offenses David committed in his lifetime. Every bad thing you can imagine. Stealing somebody's wife. Kill the husband. Huh? Huh? slept with Bathsheba and when the first child died he didn't repent he still had Solomon with her again ate the temple shoe bread did all kinds of things yet hear the testimony God said he is a man after my heart that's why the guy accessed some realms he saw things that were not given for his dispensation to see it was David who sat down and his love for God. He said, how can I be in a palace like this and there is no house for my God? Although you do not need tents to dwell in, but I will build you a house. God said, no, you, you're already a criminal. You won't build me a house. He said, no problem. God, I love you. I'm not offended. I will put the money for my son. And God said, what kind of man is this? There is a way you love God that God... You, you try to force God to be guilty if he does not bless you. Just love him. Don't ask him anything. It's in his word. He says any man that cannot cater for his family. You make yourself the child. Then you come and make yourself like the wife of this one. Come on now. You have placed God in a tight position that he must respond. He called the nation of Israel the apple of his eyes. Try to touch the apple of a man's eyes. And you will see how his hand will reach to you and slap you and the bible says the right hand of god is power 
that's where Habalis got it that you, you can go to a burial ground have you had those kind of stories a hand will appear from nowhere and slap you and the guy will become deaf so what about the right hand of God that is power when God stretches that hand Acts chapter 4 they said that you will stretch forth your hands when God stretches his hands it will clear the way the breath of his nostrils parted the Red Sea is it that God cannot save us listen I want to give us a food for thought and we will pray the way many of us treat God we are not sure whether God can come to our rescue or not what is a husband what is money what is a car brothers and sisters what is a house what is HIV that God cannot take it away what is ministry what is ministry that God cannot give you increase Jesus entered a city and it was noised abroad what is a child that God cannot give you what are demons that God cannot keep them far from your life is the cause of on your life so great that God cannot help you are not the first to go through affliction ah I'm looking for money to marry it's just two months for my marriage keep quiet seven days God created the heavens and the earth how long does it take to give you money are you the first to get married or is your wife did she descend from heaven what is the special arrangement my child's school fees really you've not heard of people that God will stop from sleeping in the night to respond to those who truly love him I cannot tell you how many times people will send me texts in the middle of the night and say the Lord woke me and said I must send you a seed I must send you a recharge card and I said Lord what are you doing to me I found a secret when you love him don't just seek to serve him yet emoji don't just seek to serve him yet seek to love him back up the name of your ministry whether it's, it's revival Tawa incorporated I'm not saying God didn't call you just keep it aside win the heart of God and you will ride on the wings of a dimension of his grace that you cannot experience or that you have never experienced before is someone getting blessed tonight this is a missing ingredient and so the apostle says it this way may the grace of our lord jesus christ we recite it after every meeting the love of god the koinonia the participation of the spirit let it remain with you i love god with my life this is the biggest secret i'm not the most gifted minister i'm not the most anointed minister i'm not the most eloquent minister I'm not the most intelligent minister I'm not the most experienced minister but one thing I can tell you ask God I love him oh I love him with my life and I love him with my heart I love him more than power I love him more than everything I love him more than all of this uh, this swan water and this bottle together with this serviette inside I love him more than this chair I love him more than anything marriage children wife husband mother father if you stand my way with god you already know you have lost that's the end of it do you love god that much god is asking you this question for when you do you will see power in your life you don't need to talk too much we just returned from university of ibadan and goodness what the lord did in that campus humbled me I've seen the hand of God and I see the hand of God week in, week out. But to see the humbling thing that, that, that it was so humbling. The wife of the commissioner of police of the state had to follow us to our hotel and stay there. And we were talking with this woman till about 12 in the night. She wouldn't go. I had to be prophesying and praying for her and she gave her ipad for someone to record it she said my husband needs to see this this is the favor somebody has been sweating about 
sitting from morning till night in an office i want to see the commissioner of police they say see god he said no 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 i i know how we will do this thing because you think god wants your money i surrender all to you everything i give to you withholding nothing this will be our song this night withholding nothing tonight you will release that isaac withholding nothing withholding nothing sing i surrender all i surrender all to you everything i give to you holding nothing we're holding nothing i was talking with one of my friends one time and he said he calls me emoji he said emoji you are enjoying you no know? i'm seeing your picture on facebook all the time ministry is sweet oh you are just changing clothes and i was looking at the person i said look at somebody i've not seen after one year look at what is in his mind you see that that's what is in his mind to him he's enjoying crowds money he said you are rich oh you hear that boss is carrying people and I, i'm in my mind i'm thinking what is what is wrong with this brother because to him he now thinks one kind of magic happened know that you came into this ministry because god brought you it was a law that compelled you to come there was no guarantee that you would come but there was a guarantee that if i seek him i will find him and when you find him he will find everything he has his power his wisdom his grace this is the secret rise up on your feet we are going to pray hallelujah David, I'm come. You're going to sing that song again. We are going to sing and we are going to pray. Listen, for many of you, two prayer points, just two prayer points tonight. The first is the prayer of release. You're going to be crying and say, Lord, I love you, but truly you are not yet a priority. There are, I, I don't know if I have that passion. Tonight, forget about titles. I don't want to know who you are in this place. Just cry to God. And the second prayer is going to be a prayer for an encounter. An encounter. An encounter. Go ahead. Shake it, take up, 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 up. Withholding nothing. Sing from your heart. Lord, I'm withholding nothing. If you want the marriage, take it. If you want the relationship, take it. If you want my degree, take it. If you want my life, take it. If you want my ministry, my anointing, my money, I sacrifice it. My bank account, my anointing, take it over. I surrender from your heart shake it take it everything i give with holding nothing holding nothing with holding nothing holding nothing with holding nothing holding nothing with holding nothing Now the Lord said unto Abraham, Abraham, take thy son, thy only son whom thou lovest, and offer him upon a mount that I will show you. You are going to pray. Prayer point number one. Lord, where is that Isaac in my life? That thing I cannot release and let go. Who is that Isaac? Where is that Isaac? What is that thing I cannot give you? Lift your voice and pray. And say lord it belongs to you it belongs to you some of you may cry as you are laying it down but let it go tonight 
let the intellect go tonight surrender it to him I declare that you are above that job. You are above that job. You are above that challenge. There is nothing my God cannot give you. Give him your heart tonight. Give him your heart tonight. Some of you need to rededicate your lives afresh. Outside. All the overflows. Some of us need to rededicate our lives. And say Lord I'm coming back home tonight. I've strayed from you. But I'm coming back home tonight. Holding nothing in. Hallelujah. There are some of us his business that took the place of God in our lives. You want to make money. Anyhow, you must make money. Others his ministry. You are now too busy for God. Too busy for the things of God. He's no longer a priority. Others academics others job before you got the job before you got the admission god was a priority right now we're so busy for him for others before you got married when you were praying and fasting and dropping offerings everywhere now the husband has come now the wife has come for many of us is your health when you were trusting god dying of HIV dying of cancer dying of a terminal disease you sought God but now that it has gone there's no time for him again we're holding nothing holding nothing hallelujah still praying number, uh, prayer point number one you're going to pray you're going to say Lord even if you never bless me again in this life you already have my heart the issue of backsliding or complaining will never occur in my life again even if the breakthrough does not come come on lift your voice that was the secret of shadrach meshach and abednego they said oh king we know that our god will deliver us but even if he does not deliver us we will not bow Lift your voice and pray. Lord, I know you will bless me, but I love you more than the blessing. I love you more than my bank account. I love you more than my desire to be famous. Pray. Everything I give to you Holding nothing, we're holding nothing, we're holding nothing. Hallelujah. Look at me. Job was at a point in his life where he was such a wealthy and a blessed man. The Bible says, Job testifying about himself, he said, In the days of my youth, when the secrets of the Lord was upon my tabernacle he said I walked upon butter and I sucked honey out of the rock he said the young men saw me and they bowed their faces the old men saw me and they stood up that was the position of Job and one day the devil went to the Lord and said is it for nothing that this man serves you in other words his heart is not with you and God said you can touch everything don't touch his life let me watch 
and in one day his children went his cattle went everything went and job sores came out of him dogs will come and lick his sores and his wife the first lady of a community became an object of embarrassment all the friends left him and the wife told job he said do you still hold your integrity do you still hold your love do you love god that much to be a fool you have become a talk of the town people have mocked you job you were a great man do you not remember when you dined with kings and job looked at her and said why do you speak like one of these stupid women he said though he slay me yet will i praise him the bible says in all of this job sinned not it was not out of his mouth that he uttered anything bad he said i know my redeemer liveth and the bible says job was in a predicament but he stopped focusing on himself and he was praying for his friends when job prayed for his friends the only other person that did that was jesus and stephen on the cross he prayed for the people stephen and the bible says god turned the captivity of job and he had double of everything children cattle what are you going through that is challenging your christian integrity let me preach to somebody for two minutes what are you going through financial challenge your academics you may be on probation right now you may even be withdrawn let me tell you all hope is not lost the bible says though weeping endures for the night you wrote jam seven times and it looks like nothing is coming some of you are due for graduation but you've been kept again and again can i tell you something like job i want you to speak tonight that though he slay me yet will i praise him all your colleagues have gotten married and you are the only one who is not married all other people have gone ahead of you they are even laughing they said they sinned and they are still blessed but you who has been righteous for years don't compromise your deliverer is coming i assure you god will ride upon the horse and come speedily to deliver you with holy nothing you may be married and it looks like your marriage is not working you're just smiling around but things are not working let me tell you your deliverer is coming some of you your homes are it's a place of living hell all kinds of war happened there father mother everybody some of you you are the only ones who are saved in your family and it's bringing a lot of challenge let me prophesy to you that if your heart is connected to god there is nothing my god will not give you the lord told me something years ago he said son if you will let men see me there is nothing i will not give you there is nothing i will not give you i have received things from god i cannot remember when i prayed for hallelujah the last prayer point and we'll round up tonight listen you're going to pray hallelujah and you're going to say lord give me an encounter that is bigger than the challenge i'm going through right now give me an encounter that is bigger than the success i've experienced so that whether my challenges or my successes they will not stand your place lift your voice and pray give me an encounter give me an encounter oh god lift your voice and pray give me an encounter open my eyes to see jesus open my eyes to see something bigger than my challenges open my eyes to see something bigger than ministry something bigger than titles give me an encounter that will create the impetus for my spiritual life no backsliding no going back pray i cry for
an encounter. Open my eyes, oh God. Give me the vision of the night. Let me see Jesus seated on the throne. Let me hear his voice. Let me feel his embrace. Yeah. You have my everything. You have my everything. You have my everything. Yeah, you have my everything. Take all of me. All of me, Lord. You have my everything. Take all of me. All of me, Lord. And find me when you seek me with all your heart when you seek me with all your heart listen hallelujah listen we are still in a prayer mode the altar call tonight is very special we are still going to pray don't stop praying if you've never given your heart to the Lord listen or you know that you backslidden as we pray I'd like you to run from wherever you are inside or outside just come and be on your knees and be praying there are people god is calling back you know where you used to be don't be ashamed you've never given your heart to the lord inside or outside as we pray right now please leave your seat come out here quickly come out here quickly lift your voice and let's pray quickly quickly don't wait for anybody to call you. Come by yourself. Come and cry before your maker. Cry before your maker. Cry before your maker. Say, Lord, I'm returning home tonight. Cry before your maker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I want you to cry to the Lord give your life to Jesus by yourself don't pretend it you are not reciting any poem this night cry out to God from the depths of your heart and say Lord I'm sorry I return home tonight let me tell you your friends can let you down your association can let you down why don't you give your heart to the one who will never let you down don't be ashamed of your tears don't be ashamed of your tears some of us did not even re realize when we left god you didn't even realize when you stopped pursuing him it's not like you were backsliding you didn't realize when success started taking god out of your life when failure started taking god out of your life those of you in front cry 
I know there are some of you inside and outside that should be here. Whether you are here or not, cry to God where you are and say, Lord, I mean business with you. I mean business with you. I mean business with you. Beyond ministry, I mean business with you. I mean business with you. I mean business with you. I mean business. He is supposed to come out and he did not come out. He is supposed to come out. I mean business with you. hallelujah the Lord is starting tonight with an impartation don't bring them out I am seeing the Lord speaking to me and he's saying there is an unction for divine strategies and it's coming on 21 people 21 people I stretch my hands right now I stretch my hands right now receive that impartation 21 people divine strategies the wisdom of God receive it that idea, Kato Sotoya, divine idea. Someone has been praying, Lord, show me the way. Here it comes. The anointing brings it. Help them, please. The anointing brings it upon your life. 21 people. The Lord shows me. 21 people. An impartation. Supernatural strategies. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 I'm going to begin to minister now. But the Lord, the Lord is speaking to me. Listen. Listen, the Lord is speaking to me and this is a mystery. God wants to use two people for a prophetic word. Two people, listen, two people for a prophetic word. Two people.
play mic. Something supernatural is happening. Ah. The Lord is taking me in the spirit. And I'm seeing a map. Get ready, please. I'm seeing a map in the spirit of Nigeria. And I'm landing in Kaduna State. I see an anointing touching Kaduna people now. Right now, right now, right now. By the spirit of God. Kaduna State. Kaduna State. I see an anointing. Only Kaduna State. Shabarapakata. Embreketeta. Kaduna State, a miracle happening for Kaduna people. Southern Kaduna, Southern Kaduna, there is an anointing. There is an anointing. God is bringing breakthrough and deliverance. Breakthrough and deliverance. Breakthrough and deliverance. Breakthrough. Hallelujah. I don't know why God does this. Brothers and sisters, don't ask me. Don't ask me. This is an operation. It's called the Ministry of Signs and Wonders. Now I see Benway State. Benway State. I see an anointing on Benway State. Now, an anointing on Benway State. Benway State. Shaka Toda Parata. Reketekete. Help them, please. Benway State. You can't stand it. You don't have to know whether you don't know your state. Benway State. Miracles. Miracles. Go into Benway State. I hear or to go in the spirit. A miracle happening right there. Right there. All those connected to that bloodline. There is a miracle for you right now. Don't trivialize what is happening here, brothers and sisters. These are territorial breakthroughs. Territorial breakthroughs. Hallelujah. 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 I'll pray for Stephanie. 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 I'm hearing a name, Stephanie. Please, let's save time. Who is Stephanie? You're like a red dress or something like that. Stephanie. Who is that? Stephanie. There is a Stephanie I'm seeing. I will pray for you, but I'm seeing someone. And in the vision, the Lord is showing me it's like a red dress, but I'll pray for you. Lift your hands. The Lord says I should tell you witchcraft ends in your family. Witchcraft ends in your family. You will hear testimonies that will surprise you. Right now, I stretch my hands towards you. Now, it ends by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Johanna. 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 I'm hearing a name, Johanna. Please save our time, Johanna. I don't know who that person is. Johanna, I won't continue speaking like this because we have to be fast. Johanna, 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 Johanna. Whether you're here inside or outside. Johanna. 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 There is a lady following us from Lagos. Your name is Blessing. Your name is Blessing. You are in a room. You are following from a laptop. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, he's bringing an end to the captivity of your family. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, he's bringing an end to the captivity of your family. He's bringing an end to the captivity of your family. Hallelujah. Now lift your hands. I want to pray. I tell you, I feel fire in this place. It's time to command deliverance. It's time to command deliverance upon the forces of darkness that have tied our lives forces of darkness the lord is bringing deliverance to your family your family the lord is bringing deliverance i'm seeing a plot of witchcraft over his family and the lord is bringing deliverance right now right now to the family right now to the family the lord is bringing a major deliverance to the family a major deliverance to the family hallelujah listen listen as i begin to pray for you all those devils that has tied the lives of people it doesn't mean you are possessed it's not an insult you may not even know you may be minding yourself just like you're standing now i'm going to command those devils they must go 
they are not only going to live your life they must live your family are we together listen some of you brought many prayer lists just one spirit living will produce all that testimony believe me believe me lift your hands my heart my soul I give to you I bow to you my Savior and King lift your hands thank you Jesus father thank you for your anointing to deliver to set free there are spirits in this place sitting on the lives and the destinies of people and in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ they must go I want you to bring them out now they must go they must go now at the count of three I want you to shout the name Jesus you'll be surprised to see what happens Kai 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 I see spirits of delay 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 spirits that have held men down all kinds of spirits father in the name of Jesus at the count of three Lord as your people shout may this shout reverberate in the realm of the spirit and may it bring breakthrough 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 flowing sound my flowing sound in the name of Jesus one two three shout Jesus now I command those demons go now go now go now lift your voice and begin to command every spirit every devil help them please go now I command every spirit of witchcraft that has tied the lives and the destinies of people you must go now inside and outside I command you inside and outside bring them out I command you by the power of the Holy Ghost lift your voice I command you you must go now now by the anointing of the Spirit release their destinies release their destinies release their breakthrough lift your hands while you pray I'm seeing gates and I'm seeing chains on them and the Lord is saying to unlock those chains unlock those chains that anointing will come on certain people right now father I decree and declare in the name of Jesus wherever they are any place in your life that has been chained and tied right now in Jesus name I command those gates be open be open be open be open be open by the anointing of the Holy Ghost shake it take it take it take it take it take it chains chains be broken ushers please chains be broken in the name of Jesus chains be broken be broken kalapatoshaya release their destinies outside the Holy Ghost is touching people outside I see a wind of fire touching people by the anointing of the Holy Ghost every enchantment every enchantment every witchcraft against the lives of people against destinies you must go now Mr. Man, lift your hands. This man, lift your hands. The Lord is saying, I should tell you that your breakthrough begins this night. Right now, receive that anointing. Receive that anointing right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Bring them out. I'm hearing the name Charity. Charity, we have to be very fast because I want to focus on barren people right now. Charity, charity. 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 I'm hearing the name Charity. Charity. The Lord wants to bring breakthrough for Charity. The second overflow. There are two people God is touching there. The second overflow. I see the anointing coming on two people. 
the overflow the roadside in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah now listen something is going to happen here now ushers I want you to be sensitive I'm going to pray for certain people you will have to help them the grace for speed listen is going to come on some people physically they will find themselves trying to run help them so that it's not like they won't be able to control themselves it's a prophetic act by the spirit so that they don't enjoy anybody lord in the name of jesus guys be sensitive please in the name help them please it's already happening that's the instruction god is giving me an anointing will come on you physically you will begin to demonstrate your breakthrough right now lord i release that anointing give men speed give men speed give men speed 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 by the power of the holy ghost give men speed run like elijah help them run like elijah help her help her run like elijah run like elijah grace for speed i release it i release it from my spirit i release it grace for speed no more stagnation no more retrogression run with the grace of elijah overtake the chariots of ahas hallelujah charity charity are you married the lord wants to give you two miracles huh number one god wants to settle you maritally do you believe that yes sir huh yes sir second what are you doing i just finished school i'm a graduate now huh i'm a graduate now you are a graduate yes, sir. i'm looking at you and i'm seeing abuja huh yes sir abuja yes what is abuja i have a fiance you abuja. have somebody there yes sir. that's the person to marry you okay, did you sir. tell me no sir did you tell me no. that's what i'm telling you i'm looking at you i said god will settle you Amen. maritally Amen. Huh? and then god will give you a job Amen. supernatural job Amen. because it's your desire Amen. god will give you a job Amen. the lord is saying i should prophesy to you i'm opening a new chapter over your life the past uh -uh. your future has to change it, the, what the past is is not a good testimony and the Lord is saying I'm giving you a new chapter a new chapter come my dear in the name of Jesus God is giving you a job may he connect you maritally huh? is your name charity is your name charity in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for you delay ends now delay ends now i pray for your auntie let there be a miracle in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i minister to one more case before i pray i want to pray specifically for barren people i'm going to pray that before we we'll do a lot of other things before we call the sick out thank god there are many hands today and so we're able to do a very quick walk ladies when i count three just shout i receive don't worry follow me and do my stupid thing are you ready now one two three there is an opening there is an opening in the realm of the spirit there is an opening in the realm of the spirit. Many people are entering it. I see it. It's a door of breakthrough. There is an opening in the realm of the spirit. There is an opening in the realm of the spirit. Shalom. Shalom. Jehovah. Shalom. Shalom. Almighty in this place. 
I tell you, if, if God would open your eyes to see the breakthroughs that I see being released to people in the realm of the spirit. Doors, strange doors. I told you there is grace for increase. There is grace for increase. There is grace for increase. The language tonight is more, 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 more. There is more, more anointing, more grace, more unction, more wisdom. There is more. There is more in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please drop your hands. The Lord is leading me to pray for brothers. Lift your hands. You'll be surprised to see what will happen to you now. Hmm. The Lord wants to release grace for establishment. Listen. There is such an anointing. Don't be foolish. Receive it. Receive it with all your spirit. There is a spirit, especially in this side of the north. Men get established very late. Very late. Very late. You make money late. You build a house late. It's a bad spirit. God wants to release something. Those online you can follow. I want to pray. I, I see this thing falling on many men. Jesus, it is your word. You have released this word. I put authority upon this prophecy. And I declare, let it enter like an arrow into the life of men. Right now, take it. Receive that grace right now. Receive it in the name of Jesus. At the count of three. One, two, three. Take it now. Take it now. Help them. Grace, grace. Strange establishment. Doors opening. Doors opening. In their own accord. Help them. Doors opening. I put you in a platform spiritually. Where you experience speed and establishment. In the name of Jesus, help them please so they don't enjoy themselves. My God. Be established. Be established. Be established. Be established. I lose your hands. I untie your hands. Every brother here, I untie your hands. Be established by the Spirit. Be established by the Spirit. Go and buy that land. By the Spirit, go and build that house. By the Spirit, I open strange doors. Don't say you are too young. It's an anointing. It's not your effort. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now leave those who are standing here very quickly. If you are here specifically, please listen. You are here specifically trusting God to stamp the feet of Satan in your family over the issue of children. You know, God announced beginning of October that the theme for this miracle service, you've had the testimonies. Please don't say they have prayed for me before. Don't allow that unbelief destroy you. Are we together? While you are coming, there is a lady who will shout under the anointing. It is the grace that will release this grace for fruitfulness. It's a loud shout. It will be loud enough for everyone to hear. By the Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we give you praise. That's the shout there. That's the shout by the Spirit. There is an anointing to pray for the barren. Come, please. All those, whether man, woman, if you are married. Look, don't come out here if you are not married. Why are they here? Why are they all here? You must be married except if you are standing in for someone don't stand here doubting there is an anointing i see a river some of you as you are standing right now the power of god will come on you just before i even start praying yeah. look at this will you open up the gate open up the door Will you open up the gate? Open up the doors. Lift your voice in one minute and sing it from your heart. Will you open up the gate?
for you by myself. That's the instruction. I will do it very fast. You don't have to tell me any stories. I don't care what they said. Low sperm count, um, infertility. I don't care the report. As you receive that touch, if you are standing for someone, call them. Let them know you are praying for them. Are we together now? Don't just say I receive and then you stand there. Let the people know what God is doing. I'll have to do this very fast. After that, we'll pray for the sick generally. We have a lot to do. Don't lose touch of this. Don't come for koinonia and then sit down. This is not a museum. Let your heart be connected because there are different things happening in the realm of the spirit. I'm going to be very fast. I'm seeing, listen, I'm seeing something like a bird is jumping out of a lady now. One person here. I don't know who that person is, but the Lord is asking that until that happens, like a bird, that's what I'm seeing. Father, in the name of Jesus, who is that person? Let there be that miracle right now. It's like something will just leave you. Just leave you. Just leave you. And release you. And release you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Now, as I pray for you, many of you, strange things will happen. Some of you are standing for other people. But as I pray for you, God is securing something in your life. You don't have to come out, please. If you do not belong to this category. That's the lady I'm talking about. Now, I'll pray quickly. Just give us um, uh, uh, keys. Just play something very quickly. Father... In the name of Jesus, let everyone here return with a miracle child. No matter what the spirit is, no matter what the issue is, fibroid, infertility, low sperm count, whatever, I don't care what the name is, it must live right now. In the name of Jesus, please shift very quickly. As I lay my hands on you, it is done. Receive that grace. Receive that grace. Receive that grace. Now, go and carry your miracle child. Madam, carry your miracle baby. Carry it now. Carry it now. My God, I tell you, I see babies literally in the realm of the spirit. Carry it now. Carry it now. Carry it right now. Carry it right now. Miracle. 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 There is an unusual grace here. There is an unusual grace. Unusual grace. Unusual grace. Unusual grace. As I lay my hands on you, it is done. It is done. It is done. It is done. Heal now. Open up the gates in the name of Jesus. Grace, 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 help them please, let's save time, grace, receive your miracle baby, my God, my God, testimonies, wombs opening, fertility be restored, receive it, take it, take it, Take it, take it, take it by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Take it, take it, take it, take it in the name of Jesus. Bring it please. in the name of Jesus, 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 in the name of Jesus. Return with the miracle child. 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 No barrenness. Out. Out now. Release her now. Now. Out. Out of her. Return with your child. Miracles. 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 Miracles in the name of Jesus. I'm seeing twins in the realm of the spirit. The Lord is showing me twins. Somebody is carrying twins. Out. Let her go now. I command that spirit. Release her in the name of Jesus. Release her right now, right now, 
right now, right now, right now. Let it be open in the name of Jesus. Grace, 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 grace. Shebara do bara 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 bara. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Eko to shobara bara. The Lord is healing irregular menstruation. Irregular menstruation for one woman is being healed right now so that you can carry your baby. Receive your child out, out of her. Now, return with your miracle child. Now. Now, 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 by the power of the Holy Ghost, let her go now. Shake it in the bush. Keep praying in the spirit. Don't just watch. Miracles, miracles. Miracles. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Supernatural miracles. The Lord is anointing you. Receive that anointing now. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Grace, grace, grace. Grace for you. Grace for you. Grace for you. Grace for you. Grace, 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 grace. Open. Open now. Open now. I see a womb that is closed. Open now. Shaka baradoka toka I want a woman to come up. Yes. I'm seeing a woman who is pregnant. You have been having nightmares. Somebody comes to you in the night. You have you even wake up shouting. You've not been able to sleep. There is a pregnant woman here with that situation. God wants to set you free. Please, where are you? If you care for you, can come and God will set you free right now. You are pregnant, but I'm seeing you having very bad dreams. Like a nightmare. Madam, look at me. You are standing for yourself, for someone. Ah, hallelujah. I'm seeing something that is not nice. I need to pray for a lady here. Don't be embarrassed. Don't be embarrassed. I don't know if you have the courage. If you have the courage, I can pray for you. Please don't be embarrassed. This is a family. Something like a living thing. It almost looks like a physical living thing, like a worm or like a snake. Literally comes out of your private part. It comes out and goes back. This is like a, a living, a real object. Please, who is that? I have to pray for you. Like I said, if you have the courage, there's nothing to be ashamed. What, who is this one? Why is she here? Coughing out? No, no, no. Don't bring her. In Jesus' name, you okay. Come. In Jesus' name, it is done. The Lord sets you free by the power of the Holy Spirit. I need to pray for that lady. Honestly, this is a serious thing. In fact, it's not just one. I'm seeing two of you. Come and stand here. Something... It looks like a worm, but it's bigger than it. You see it, it comes out and goes back on its own. Who is that? You're the one? God bless you for your courage. Can you celebrate her? Don't be afraid. See, look, let me tell you. This is, this is like a spiritual hospital. 
so this is not a place immediately i saw it even me i honestly i my body was doing me one kind but i thought you have to say this is bad it's like a doctor madam and you love god oh. don't be afraid huh do you know this thing where are you from because I'm looking at you, you are supposed to be a very great woman. I look at you and I see somebody. Ah, this is strange. I'm seeing, let me show you what I'm seeing. I'm looking at this and I'm seeing witchcraft from Delta State. I'm seeing you, but I'm seeing a white woman. I'm seeing a white woman, but I'm seeing you. And the Lord is telling me that you speak like a white woman. That's the vision that I'm saying. Say, Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. I didn't know that. Look at me. My dad, look at me. Because I'm seeing this. You look far, far, far older than your age. Somebody even see you and say, Mommy, there's no mommy anything. You need prayers because you too, are you married? You are trusting God for a life partner. It's even why you came here. Look at this. The devil is a liar. See, I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus Christ. The spirit of the waster that will want your life to keep going without achievement. I'm praying for you now. May that devil live your life forever in the name of Jesus. The spirit of a waster lives your life forever in the name of Jesus. I use her as a point of contact. This is a nice woman. She didn't bargain for this and she loves God. Are you seeing that now? Who knows, probably you were trained by white men. She speaks very intelligently, but everything grounded. Hold my hand, man. To a point that, that, do you know what it means? Another object, did you plant an object in your body? Comes out through you at will, goes back at will. For those of you who think witchcraft is not real, you are joking. You are watching one right now. Not pile, oh. I'm not talking of pile. Hold my hands, my hands. I'm angry in my spirit. In the name of the Lord God that I serve, I speak to you from the depth of my spirit. Right now, I command that devil, let her go now. Out! Out! In the name of Jesus, I lay my hands on your stomach. I command that wicked spirit, whatever your name is, don't only leave her, pack your load with you and go out of this woman's life. I restore you even physiologically. In the name of Jesus Christ, this old face is not your own. You are not that old. I change it in the name of Jesus Christ. Help her. Give Jesus praise. Father, thank you. Supernatural miracle. Supernatural miracle. Supernatural miracle. Supernatural miracle. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hold my hands. It's over. Over in the name of Jesus. Over in the name of Jesus. It's over in the name of Jesus. There's one mama here. The anointing of the spirit is going to come upon you for praying for barren people. There's one mama here. I'm seeing in a vision. The power of God will land on you. You, you may not even be expecting it. Not everybody. This, this is an, like an elderly woman. But I'm seeing an anointing. Right now, wherever you are. Father, something will land. It's like fire. It will land on one mama now. Supernatural grace. You will start laying hands on the sick. Oh, that's the woman there. Help her. Help her, please. Bring her here. Supernatural anointing. Supernatural anointing for the for barrenness. Look at this. Look at this. This is an elderly woman, for God's sake. Father, take her to that level. I stand upon this apostolic and prophetic grace and I bring you to that realm. Release miracles to women in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, please help her. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Supernatural. Supernatural. 
Daddy, why is he here? Why is our daddy here? Who brought him out? You came on your own, sir, for barrenness. You, where is your wife, sir? Is here, but I can't locate her now. Madam, come. You will see a man like hold my hand, sir. You will see a man like this and think he has a child. You have a child. You are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Yes. How old are you, sir? Don't be embarrassed. You are 57. You will still have your child. Where is your wife? <laughs> wife. Is she here? Is the wife here? She's not here. You are not sure. She's around here. You are sure she's around? Yes. Madam, if you are around, please, I want to pray for you and your husband. Otherwise, um, we can just pray and continue, please. So that we don't waste time. In the name of Jesus Christ, supernatural grace. Supernatural grace. You can imagine the kind of oppression. Supernatural grace. Supernatural grace. Supernatural grace. Your wife is not here. She's not coming out. Or is she under the anointing? Huh? Whose name? Maybe she doesn't want to come out. I hope she's not. She's here. What's her name, sir? Esther. Esther Atuluku. Please, you have had your name, madam. That's your husband calling you. Can you rush, please, so that we save time? Is she here? Is she outside? Otherwise, I'll just pray for him, please, so that we'll save time. There's a lot to do. Daddy, how long have you been married, sir? 32 years. 32 years. If you ever tell me wickedness is not real, if you ever tell me wickedness is not real, our daddy's children would have been married now with their own children. Ejimi, am I correct? Look at this. Abraham waited 25 years. Our daddy has waited 32 years. Sir, you came here by faith. You are our father here. And you did not feel embarrassed to come out and stand here. Look at me, sir. I want you to look at my eyes so that you will know that I'm the one that has told you. In the name of Jesus, I don't care whether your wife has passed menopause or not. I don't care whether she can give birth or not. I decree to you, in the name of Jesus Christ, hold my hand, sir. You will not have a child. You will have children. Listen, sir. I'm not saying God told me to tell you. I am telling you. There is something called a prophet's reward. In the name that is above all names, I speak over your life. That force of darkness that has vowed that you will not have continuity, I cancel it right now. Yeah. Sir, you are struggling financially. I have to pray for you. God wants to open a door for you. I, I hope you are not embarrassed sir, that I'm talking to you. Please hold my hands. Jesus, please change our daddy's story. Yeah. Let 32 years of barrenness come to an end now. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Now, please, we are going to be very fast. You are here for yourself. You are not married. You are standing for something. In the name of Jesus Christ. Supernatural miracle. Now, we are going to be very fast. You can see it's past nine, but there are so many things we need to do. We are going to do two things at the same time. All those who are here trusting God for any miracle, any miracle aside from barrenness, except if you have another thing, I don't care what it is. Please, you are going to come. There are men of God here who are going to lay hands on you very quickly. It's a miracle service. Now, look at this. I want you to organize yourself. Uh, those outside, hold on, please. Hold on. Overflow 2. Just walk right to the front. You don't have to come here. Overflow 2. The whole of those occupying the roadside. Just walk right to the front of your, your stage there. Overflow 1 here. Just walk right to the front here. All those who are here, you can just come out. Come out, organize yourself. You are sick? Or you are standing in for people? Jesus. Listen. If you are standing here for impartation, go back, please. Please, please, don't make a fool of yourself. We are going to pray for you. I know some of you just want me to touch you. There's nothing wrong with you. Don't play games with God. Go back to your seat. You will receive impartation. Some of you, there's nothing wrong. You just want in case if there's something, I should still pray. Go back. Please, we don't have that time. 
are we together now i'm not joking please there is no time huh so those outside just obey instructions please some of you think i'll have to be the one to touch you that's unbelief i i spent time talking about faith here just walk outside stand there overflow look at how many people pastor for god's sake look at this look at how many people huh? almost everybody look at standing for somebody the devil wants to destroy people have you noticed that in the last one month there's been an outbreak of mysterious sicknesses someone will just get up in the morning and you cannot breathe again that devil is a liar in the name of jesus and i also understand there have been mysterious accidents you are minding your business car will jam you bike will jam you we are going to take care of all those things today it's called a miracle service now this is what will happen please and please anybody who lays hands on you just go back to your seat believing in faith we don't have time to take testimonies i know there are so many miracles if we do that we're going to spend time here there are other things we need to do are we together now so i will pray for you you can see there are so many people uh let's do it this way pastor pete is with me here so um pastor pete ah no edgy you know what edgy pastor femi you can go outside you can just handle that that one there pastor alpha pastor alpha kenny and um mike please you handle that one benga you will join here me him and pastor edgy and you and who you and pastor femi yes we are not just don't think just because you are a pastor don't look at me i'm walking by the spirit i don't have to call you are not playing games this is not about ministry there is grace are we together pastor alpha please outside kenny mike promise west promise join a jimmy promise femi and and pastor jimmy outside please just guide them protocol they, so that don't waylay anybody please behave yourself don't disturb anybody i'm here with pastor pete benga we're going to pray in the name that is above all names shout amen, amen. father we're standing in unity from three different points you have anointed this ministry to be a supernatural ministry and bring healing and miracles to your people lord every man of god represented here as we lay hands on your people it doesn't matter what the situation is let there be healing let there be deliverance in the name of jesus christ as we minister to you any spirit that is at work in your life must be casted out in the name of jesus christ please guys we have to be very fast so that we'll save time pastor sir thank you so much worship help us please we'll be very fast now all those sitting and around those online just connect by faith there's nobody touching you physically, but the Holy Ghost is there. He's representing us and he will touch you. While that is happening concurrently, please, your miracle, um, uh, your prayer request, pass it, ushers, if you can connect yourself. I know that there are not many of you protocol. You can help them, please. Pass your prayer request. If someone sent a text to you now, you can copy it quickly, please. Pass your prayer request. While laying hands on you, if they give you a prophetic word, receive it. Please, guys, don't waste time on one person. Let's just do it fast. Jesus will give you praise. I have no other God but you. Now, by the anointing. I have no other God but you. Right now. And you have done what no please as they pray for you just quietly go back to your seat rejoicing go back to your seat check yourself Oh, 
make sure you sub make sure you're submitting your prayer requests make sure you're submitting your prayer requests and then when they pray for you you don't have to go back to another line once they pray for you i'd like you to believe you will see god is doing miracles quickly pass your prayer requests. I exempted Pastor Jakes for a reason. 
the Lord gave me a word and then I'm going to give him and um, are we together now? Praise the Lord. There is an anointing that is going to release upon you now before, before we come to prayer. I know there are people, how far have we gone? Those outside, there's still a number of people. Okay, rise up on your feet, please, quickly. Jakes. The Lord gave me an instruction to tell him to speak prophetically and release an anointing and a grace. Honestly, I don't know what anointing it is, but I want you to believe something heavy will come upon your life. Are you hearing me? Those outside, whether you are joining the line, they can still be praying for you while you receive this. It's going to be a very quick one. And then, um, ushers, please, let's have the request so that we can finish it because I'm still going to speak in your life and there will be some activations. Bless you, sir. David down the Lord is going to be placing upon you an anointing an anointing is to come upon you pare sufre tinda ilo si predia rekito fiesta kila handa ha bora ke te chupelenda pragadose rekete ga baka kokosho ke palagana renda pa preia so palenda ha resa profilesta kalionde barasoko palagada I feel like the fire of God moving upon the ground. It will come upon the feet of many now. Upon the feet of many. The fire of God will come upon your feet. The fire of God will burn your feet. There's a fire quickening. My God. Palio friesa kiata la ronde. Barus itateli. Bo grakishti valande kalebose.
Tonight the Lord will open up portals for many as you sleep tonight. <laughs> Some of you have an experience of seeing a ladder as angels will ascend and descend bringing messages to you. Tonight, 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 tonight by the power of God's Holy Ghost. By the power of God's Holy Ghost. By the power of God's Holy Ghost. Jesus, we enthrone you. We proclaim you are standing here in the midst of Yeah, I sent the Lord's presence. <laughs> Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. And as we worship you, you will build your throne. And as we worship you, hurry up while the other ministers are busy ministering to the people outside we are going to pray on the request now pastor Pete is going to lead us pastor Sajex please help me since you are the only one here we are praying for your request I want you to believe God stretch your hands over this place and I want you to begin to pray in the spirit everybody stretch your hands you are praying in the spirit we may not be able to minister directly to everyone but I want you to believe that God will touch you. Don't just stand watching. Make sure you pray. Stretch your hands. Those online, I want you to know that your requests are with us. We are laying hands by faith also. Those online, you are part of this. Stretch your hands right now as we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Father, in your divine wisdom, when you wanted to communicate to us the mysteries of your will, Lord, you wrote it down for us to read. In the same vein, oh God, your sons and your daughters gathered across the nations, those that are here, those that are across the world from the internet. They have written their own requests, understanding the mystery of the scribes. That whatever is written has a spiritual significance. Father, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we release the angels that respond to the prayers of men. The angels in Revelations chapter 8 that burn those prayers as incense and they ascend to the throne room of God. Right now, by the power of God, let those angels move swiftly in the name of Jesus. An angel appeared unto Daniel and said, I have come because of your word. 
Father, let the angels respond according to this request. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Nothing here written will go back unanswered. We prophesy in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that the prayer of a righteous man availed much. Father, we are on our knees on this mountain, at this altar, bringing this request before the throne room of God. And the Bible says, he that goeth before the throne boldly shall come back, O God, with results and answers, and the grace and the mercies of God shall be released. Right now, we release grace. And Lord, we release mercy. In the name of Jesus. Every prayer written in this ground, upon this mountain, it is answered in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Give Jesus praise. Give Jesus praise. Aside from those, they are still praying for peace. Everybody rise up. Please rise up quickly. Rise up to receive the prophecy and the impartation. Two things we'll do at once, just two, three minutes, and then we're done. Please make sure you wait to the end of the service so that you listen to every announcement. I want to pray. We want to, every miracle service is a platform to activate grace. You have seen certain dimensions of God, but there's more. Lift your hands. I want to pray for you and I'll join it with the prophecy. This is the second to the last miracle service for the year. So don't be careless about it. Open up your spirit. There are people here who have been crying and say, Lord, I know there can be a new dimension of grace. I have seen your hand in my life, but I want to see a greater level. I pray for you right now in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit. Drink of a new fountain of grace. Help him, please. Drink of a new fountain of grace. I activate the gifts of the spirit at the count of four. One, two, three, four. Step into it. Eyes be open, ears open. Receive impartations. Receive impartations. Receive grace, grace. Impartation in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. The kind of favor that you have not seen from the start of this year till now. On this mountain tonight, I invoke it upon your spirit. May that favor come upon you. I call the heavens to bear witness that you are a career of favor in the name of Jesus Christ. Where it has worked for others and has refused to work for you, I declare the grace that makes things work the power of performance. Receive it right now. Receive it right now in the name of Jesus. Everything dead in your life. I don't care what and I don't care how long. In the name of the one who raised from the dead. I command that thing to come back to life. I prophesy that nothing dies in your hands. I prophesy that nothing dies in your hands. Tonight, like Pastor Jake prayed, revelations of strategies from the realm of the spirit. Receive it is coming on you. Receive it is coming on you. Receive it is coming on you. Supernatural impartation. I pray for you. Everyone here who wants to start a business, start a company, start something, any value adding platform. I prophesy upon you the spirit of influence may it come upon it the spirit of influence may it come upon it the spirit of influence may it come upon it every student here hear me I program your spirit to rise to a new dimension in the name of Jesus on common understanding on common illumination any final year student here who it looks as if you are not going from the look of things in the name of Jesus we change it here right now believe God we change it now we change it now we change it from your faculty 
we change it from your department by the authority of the kingdom in the name of Jesus anyone here carrying any track record of bad luck it works for others until it gets to your turn then there must be stories I separate you and bad luck forever. I separate you and tragedy forever. Hallelujah. This spirit that came to Zaria that is causing men to be sick, hear my voice. There is a platform where ambassadors are in this kingdom therefore i stand apostolically and prophetically we fortify the spiritual borders of this city and we punish such operations in the name of jesus may you and your kind be banished from this city in the name of jesus that spirit that brings accident and untimely death looming around our territory no 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 zaria is a place of light it's not the place where any spirit will come and loom and i speak prophetically across this place every spirit of untimely death hear my voice in the name of jesus i command the gates closed over you i command the gates closed over you not by accident not by bomb blast, the gate closes over you. Everything that has left your hand, that left your life, that should not have left, I don't care where it went to, I call it back. May it gather its kind and come to you. I say it again everything that has left your life has left your hands may it gather its kind and return back to you listen anyone here who the devil has taunted spiritually financially in influence you are not rising for whatever reason in the name of jesus i force you to rise in the name of Jesus, I force you to grow. If there is anybody in this place, from January till now, you have not stood here to testify, I prophesy to you, now and the next 30 days, may it be your turn to stand here. Believe me, believe me, now and the next 30 days, may you stand here to testify. Anyone here called jobless, or you are doing a job that is not a job, any nonsense thing around that is not bringing you tangible, sizable benefit in the name of Jesus. I don't know where the jobs are. We create vacancies and put you there. We create vacancies and put you there. Any man or woman who said over his dead body for you to succeed, I declare their prayers answered tonight. I declare their prayers answered tonight. I pray for you. Listen, there is a mantle of honor upon this house. And if you belong to this family, it should be evident in your life. And in case it's not yet working, like a programming in a computer, like an antivirus, I place that mantle of honor upon you. May it shield you from shame. May it may it shield you from shame. Hallelujah. Every spiritual life that has died here no more passion for the things of God no more passion for prayer no more passion for the word of God I plant in you a fresh passion tonight fresh passion tonight we're rounding up every family represented here 
that has not had a reason to smile this year it's been tears and tears from home every time they call you from home one episode of bad luck may this be the first good news you will hear good news of breakthrough good news of increase good news of speed in the name of Jesus Christ whoever rises up to find you may the God that I serve even in the secret may he fight them we're rounding up I pray for you barrenness or its kind looming around your life looming around your environment whether in your body whether in your finances whether in the works of your hands in your ministry in your business I pray for you the water that flows that makes the barren plant to receive strength and begin to rise and become a great tree I introduce that water into your life therefore I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus be fruitful be fruitful multiply multiply replenish subdue and may you command absolute dominion absolute dominion help them please every strange nightmare strangers roaming around your sleep not allowing you to enjoy the sleep that the saints should enjoy disturbing you oppressing you sleeping with you manipulating your dreams confusing you you don't know whether it's god speaking or it's the devil in the name of jesus i banish those strangers from your life forever i banish those strangers from your life forever in the name of jesus christ and i pray finally for you there is a spirit of increase there is a spirit that causes men to prosper there is a mantle that brings wealth from the east the north the south you have the value but you need the access you have the value already you are not a non-entity you already have what to give but the other side of the exchange is what you are looking for from the east to the west to the north to the south whoever must show up in your life in the next 30 days to be a ladder for you to climb to the next level I prophesy and I call them into your destiny I prophesy and I call them into your destiny there's someone here God is giving you a word go and register a company and just keep it you may not know what to do with it but just keep it keep it and give God space to use it and surprise you that's a prophetic word for somebody here just register it and keep it you there is no business to source for don't worry register it and keep it and give God space to surprise you may that happen to you in the name of Jesus Christ every circle of continual suffering where you think you are about to rise up another episode of trouble I declare where the devil put a comma I change it to a full stop never again never again never again in the name of Jesus Christ you're here you need Jesus you're saying man of God I have watched the things that the Holy Spirit has done I have seen the transformation keep standing please no sitting no moving around let's stand up please keep standing you are here and you are saying Apostle I want you to pray for me I love Jesus Christ but for some reason my life has gone haywire I cannot say that I'm truly enjoying relationship and fellowship with him and there are others who are saying man of God this is the first time I've always mocked at the things of God I've never really been serious but now I'm making up my mind for Jesus overflow one overflow two all following us online wherever you are I know that our time is gone but let's honor Jesus 
we cannot end this meeting without giving this opportunity wherever you are don't wait for anybody to come be the first i want you to run like there's fire on the mountain and come and stand here i want to lead you to jesus jesus is already talking to some people god bless you as you come god bless you as you come god bless you as you come there are people outside run like there's fire on the mountain don't stroll around run like there's fire on the mountain one i'll count one to five and that will be it. two lord i give you my three please we're out of time run run to jesus i live for fresh start a new beginning will you have your way hallelujah if you are still coming please rush and join them it should not take a long time if you are still indecisive then just remain at your seat by now you should know where you stand when the titanic sank there were only two lists those who were saved those who were lost if you are not sure you are saved come out and join them because it means that you are not you are not safe you should be very sure if you are a man of god is like i think i'm safe come and join them and get a very uh, a, a high level of certainty to know that you are in christ in the name of jesus i appreciate everyone daddy thank you for coming and all those who have come to make this decision please understand you are not reciting a poem don't be emotional about it this is a simple decision but it's the greatest miracle you are opening up your heart to the life of god the bible says and this life is in his son it says he that hath the son hath eternal life say this after me with all your heart and sincerely say lord jesus i love you with all my heart tonight i come to you and i declare that you receive my life and manage it for me i receive your life into my spirit i declare that from today jesus is my lord my savior my friend and my king i declare that satan has no power over my life i'm a child of god i'm born again in the name of jesus christ father i stretch my hands towards these great precious people bless them let this decision be genuine and let this be the beginning of great days in their lives i anoint you with grace I command that you begin to see the faithfulness and the goodness of God in the land of the living. I plant in you like a virus, a hunger for the things of God. And I declare that it will override every other passion in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Thank you for this great decision that you have made. Now hold on please. I want you to do two things for me. Number one, the Bible says, They that be planted in the house of the Lord, it says they shall flourish in the courts of our God visiting the house of god is not the key to consistency you must settle down and receive the word our prayer meetings um tuesdays except for this week we're making a little adjustment i'm going to bring an announcement on that shortly but you can be part of it for at least one month so that you can build your spiritual life and then i want you to follow the gentleman waving his hands they'll have your details and then they'll warmly follow you up on our behalf and the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. Please, this way, all of you, God bless you. God bless you in Jesus' name. Koinonia, are you appreciating them? Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze 
and don't forget to like for us thank you